It's not a secret hidden within mysterious military base Area 51. The UFO community has a credibility problem. Believers in tinfoil hats, little green men. Isn't that lovely? How Hollywood portrays it all. Capturing humans at will for their own sinister purposes. It all adds to the fun, which frustrates UFO believers who want the truth exposed. Leading the fight is Canadian Victor Vigiani, who is out to prove contact has already been made. I got one solid document out of Comox Air Force Base in September of 2001, where two uh, CF-18s were uh, scrambled to chase three unknown tracks. The documents he acquired from an access to information request labeled secret detail all communications between the jets and their base. The CF-18s are told another plane in the area sees them, but they're moving too fast. And then eventually the CF-18s catch up to these things okay, and make contact, it says right in the document. And then the, the one line reads, CF-18s contact at 35,000 feet. And then after that, it's redacted. Cute. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. My gosh. The incident is similar to the U.S. Navy video released by the Pentagon, where tic-tac-shaped objects appear to fly at astonishing speeds. So what is needed to believe? A good story, compelling video, or over a dozen witnesses, as was the case for one of Canada's most famous UFO stories. The year was 1967, and a large object had just crashed in the water off Shag Harbor, Nova Scotia. There was no debris, nor were there aircraft reported missing just a large swath of oily sea foam. And years later, perfectly round indentations found on the sea floor, which David Savet claims to have seen with his own eyes. So you have to understand that the event took place in 67. The survey ship did the survey in 1988. And then in 2009, almost 20 years after that, the, the anomaly is still there. So what do you believe? The answers could be in the sky above or in the waters off Nova Scotia. Nobody has the answers, or do they? Oh. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.